What do you guys want to see? Shout it out, let me hear it! Michelle, you got a favorite? Michelle wants the scorpions. Okay. Lily. Your dear friend Michelle over there, Lily, she gave you the Emperor Scorpions. Yay! Lily's oh very excited about this. Uh, almost as excited as I am. Uh, these are the largest venomous scorpions on the planet, nicknamed the Widowmakers, but all you got to do is sit very, very still. Charlie here is only going to put five of these little guys right on your head to close the box for a few seconds, and then you're all done. So let me ask you something. Are you ready for this? Hey, there you go. All right, Michelle, let's go over and lend Lily some moral support. Yeah, take as many pictures as you want. She can't do anything about it. Nice. Audience, are you guys ready to see this? things like your ears or your hair or your ear hair I'm, I'm not saying Lily has ear hair I'm just saying it's a thing that could have happened that I read about online once oh so you know it's true yeah there we go she's good that is all five give her a round of applause great job Lily you have proven that fear is not a factor for you All right, Bob, get us into the semifinals. Moving on to the semifinals, we are going to split the audience directly in half from this center line over to this side of the stadium. You guys are all going to be a part of the red team of Veronica and Bo. Let's hear it for the red team! Same center line over to this side of the stadium. You guys are all going to be a part of the blue team of Katie and Holly. Make some noise for the blue team! When I say go, the two of you will run over here, reach your arm into the fish tank underneath the cover. Let's find out what's in there today. Check it out. Carnivorous eels. That's what we call this next stuff, the eel tank relay. Love it when it's eel day. When I say go, two of you run over here, reach your unprotected arm into the shrieking eel tank and fish out a bean bag. You'll then turn and toss the bean bag to your partner waiting with a bucket. You have 30 seconds to transfer as many as you can, but you may only transfer one at a time. The team with more bean bags in their bucket at the end of 30 seconds will win this part of the challenge and they'll have an advantage going on to the second part of the challenge. Oh, bye! Volunteers Ashley and Alyssa will be soaking them with these high intensity water cannons. Let's hear it for Ashley and Alyssa. Contestants, are you ready? Then let's get this peach party started. In three, two, one, go! That center button there is retarded. There you go, now you've got it. Back to the line, good flow. Go! Oh. You gotta turn to your side. You gotta throw and go, ladies. Throw and go. And watch it go in. Wasted time. 15 seconds left. Hard right, talk there with Katie. Brian and Bo working very well together with Katie and Holly. We're moving a little bit faster. Oh. Too high for Holly. It's an opening here for the red team to make it take a lead. Too low for Bo. It's a good song time. Great job on both sides. We're going to find out how many each team has. Looks like we have three for the red team, but we have four for the blue team! Great job, blue team. 
Red team, hang in there. You can still with us. Now, for the second part of the stunt, we'll give each team three beanbags. Except blue team, we're going to give you four because you won the first half. That's your advantage. Then, we'll hoist the two of you up two and a half stories in the air. And when I say go, we let you go on a pendulum swing. You'll then be tossing the beanbags down to your partners below who now have the bucket. This time, the team with more beanbags in their bucket goes for the finals. The other team is going home. Oh, by the way! Yeah, beanbags. Those are for whips. They are for whips. I'm pretty yeah. we already used them. So, we're going to use something else. How about Ritten Octopus? Now, Cruiser winner teams, my two runners, meet me down front. Katie, head down the front. Ginger's meeting our runners at the front of the stage. She'll be crisscrossing them and tethering them there. This is going to serve two purposes. One, it limits their range of mobility, and two, it gives us a really good chance of getting an octopus into the audience. Yeah, so you all on my left over here, my right over there. Keep your eyes open. You may have an extra guest in your party really soon. Ugh, I can't it. You guys too, depending on how good of an arm Holly has. The same, which would be an aggressive throw. Testing the limits of those tethers. Set left, set right. Okay, let's hoist them up now. <laughs> Two and a half stories in the air. You guys will be flying pretty fast as you're chucking those cephalopods. Audience, let's give your team some encouragement out there. Clear left, clear right. How about a friendly little game of? Squidditch in three, two, one, go! Here they come. High toss. Out there, oh. Katie. Come on to that first one. Low toss a little bit out there. No, Bob is still having trouble tracking it. Good team working very well together again. Lower throw. Bob able to come in with it. No, too low there. One more for the blue team. Here's where that advantage comes into play. Holly facing the wrong way, so the way she's actually facing forward. She's gonna have to do some work to get herself facing forward. Here she comes around, up in the air. Yeah. Down the ground, and that is it. Red team with no more effort, but just not enough. Blue team, you are going to the finals! Congratulations, Blue team, you made it look pretty easy. <laughs> Katie, come on over here. Great job! Yeah. Is that the first time you've got octopus in a bucket? Uh, second or third. Second or third time? All right, this is a normal thing for you? Yeah, I Okay, very cool. You live in Pensacola? Oh, okay, yeah, well, I, I can understand that. Yeah, very good. Uh, now, let me ask you a little something. What are you more excited about, the fact that you're going to the finals or that Bo is not? Uh, probably both. <laughs> yeah, probably both equally. He's probably not too happy about it, but... We'll talk to him in just a second, but let's talk about the future a little bit. You're going up against Holly over here. Tough competitor, right? You are going head-to-head. -head. How do you think you'll do? I'm going to do my best. Okay, yeah, that's, that's really all you can ask for. Good job. Holly, I was talking to Katie. She says she will crush you in the finals. You have no chance. Awesome. So, the two of you head out that way with Mike. He'll set you up. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for your finalists. Keep it going for the blue team. Or the red team, actually, everybody. Show some love out there for them. Veronica, what happened out there? It's not good at catching squid. It, well, yeah, clearly. Was there any particular reason why? No. Just hadn't done it before, and yeah, you don't get to practice too often. Bo, Veronica says it's your fault. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you thought you'd give a little bit more distance there, even though she was right there. That's right. Well, there's only one distance you got to worry about now. It's about 40 feet down the walk of shame. We are going to put the focus back on you to see if you have the stomach for our next event. Now joining us up here right now, we have three very brave volunteers. Put your hands together for Suzanne, Carlos, and Hakan! Nice. All right, step up to the plate here, everybody. This is what we get asked most about here at Fear Factor Live. Who wouldn't be Fear Factor without something interesting to eat? That's why we call this next stunt, Guess What's Crawling to Dinner. Oh, this is on our menu today. Our first course is seafood surprise. A colorful combination of rotten oysters, clams, octopus, fish heads, and hearts. All in a nice, woo, fragrant juice today. Wow. Our second course, mystery meat medley. Now this contains the remnants from the meat packing plant. I don't actually know what's in it, 
They just scrape it on the floor and give it to us. That's <laughs> awful nice, I guess. Wonderful. And then we're gonna wash all that down with just a little bit of sour milk. It just looks like milk. Wait oh, for it. Oh, well, there's the... <laughs> The extra, <laughs> extra bottom half. Yeah, there. I guess it's always at the bottom. It's kind of settled. All right. Nice. Maybe we don't want the top on just yet. Why? We'll let, uh, well, let's put some gross stuff in there, and then. You just said that was it? gross. I did. Okay. Yeah. Let's put some like actually gross stuff, like some really some fear factor oh, gross stuff. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Here you are, stickler for that. I but remember, we are in a theme park, and we don't expect these people to eat what we make the people eat on the show. We might not expect it, but I mentioned that those people do. Should we make a meme with Nikki on TV? Oh, by the way! Yeah, I didn't have to bring along a little Fear Factor Live party, man. There you go. It's a disgusting combination of cricket scrubs, super peep, and grasshoppers. It's gonna give it that nice snap crackle. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you guys will need these official Fear Factor Live chuck buckets. <laughs> Alright, look at the texture, everybody. <laughs> That's the best sound. Yeah. Alright, so here's what's going down. When I say go, you will have 30 seconds to slug down this chunky pump. You gotta swallow the entire glass, slam the cup back down on the table, and then open your mouth so that we can make sure you're not saving anything for a midnight snack. Why would you smell that before this is about to happen? <laughs> Seriously. Uh, whoever completes their cup first will be declared our winner. Audience, are you guys ready to see this? I definitely am. We start with cups on the table. Good job. Let's all count down to chow down in three, two, one, go! Come on, guys. Oh, Carlos, let's cheer. Our teams are tied. Oh, Carlos is not having this at all. Open up, open up, open up, open up. And the guys are fucked out there. But um, um, hey, great job. You improving fear is not a factor for you, and evidently neither is taste. Well done. Now, after winning this challenge, see that I have for you this official fear factor line. I ate a bug bug. Make your own smoothies at home. You got a little self somewhere down a little bit. Give a big round of applause to all three of these competitors. They were great. Take us to the final, Bob. Moving on to our final stunt, Katie. Holly, you guys are once teammates. Now you're going head to head in what we call the stunt man's challenge. Go ahead, turn right. around and face your wall. When I say go, you'll start climbing the wall in front of you, releasing the four yellow flags along the way. Fourth flag is on a windowsill. Once it's gone, climb across the windowsill. Reach out, grab the red flag on the red fireman's pole. That flag has a key that you'll need. Slide down the fireman's pole. When you reach the bottom, turn, run, jump into your yellow convertible. You'll use the key to start the car. The ignition is on the right-hand side. Once it starts, it'll begin to rise into the air. When it comes to a complete stop, climb over the front windshield and release the three yellow flags on the front end. Once those are gone, climb back into the car. Look at the back seat, you'll find a rocket launcher. Pick it up, point it at the target on the buildings behind me, and fire. First one who hit that target will be declared the champion of Fear Factor. 